think you're losing it. What do I do? Find it. I guess there's a windmill just on the other side of the sand dunes. We know the majority of the Germans are still defending from inside the houses beyond that. You're gonna need to get an OP up there so those bastards will have nowhere to run. Paddock! Can you get me in holding up there? I can get a piano up there. Call in Artie, and then focus your firepower on every last kraut that squeaks out of there. The 5-0 Deuce and the 5-0-6 are gonna be moving into covering after you. So rendezvous with whoever you can find. Good luck, gentlemen. Yes, sir! We'll set up radio comm! All right, Paddock and Holden are gonna stay behind and set up radio comm. McCreary, Dawson, Cortland, you're with Zanovich. McConnell and Roselli, you're with Campbell. We're all going in together. Which one of you assholes was firing the arty all over the place? We almost had a building come down on top of us. Paddock. Oh, well, that makes sense. All right, they're rallying around a strong 88 position where the road fork's just south of here. I got a column of tanks to win at 0930, but we won't be able to link up with the 506 until after that obstacle is clear. I'm on it. I didn't ask you to- Mac, I said I got it. Of course you do. Take one of the tanks with you at least. Good luck. That cold September, 34,600 soldiers of the Allied forces set foot on Dutch soil to embark on Operation Market Garden and take the war across the Rhine into Germany. On September 27th, the combined assaults of the 506 and the 50 Deuce, which included the 101st Recon squads, were able to drive the German forces from their stronghold in Kovering. It was here that the men of the 101st learned that the British forces at Arnhem could no longer hold their defenses against the might of the German armor. It gave their all for reinforcements that would not arrive. As 30 Corps, ambushed, battered, wounded, and dying, would never reach their destination. Ultimately, the Allies were forced to abandon the goal of securing Arnhem, with the toll having reached over 17,000 Allied casualties in just eight days. But their story was not over. So, no word on Hartsock? No. It's been four days, but I think Holden got word Corian was doing that. He's okay, I think, so that's good. Feels strange to lose, doesn't it? Just a bit. 30 court. Just been on time. We'd still be using a foolhardy plan from a foolhardy general. Montgomery got greedy. What's with you? I told them. About what? Leggett. What he did and what I did. Matt! I told you never to do that. I know. It's just... You should go check on Red. Doc, uh, Gideon wants to talk to you. So, you okay? Matt, the whole time, the whole fucking time you knew exactly what happened Sam. to them? You know what? Don't fucking do that. Don't stoically say my name and act like that. Not now. Matt, we will never fight together again. I've been waiting for you, Sergeant. We need to speak privately. How's Red? That's why we need to speak privately.
Now, he doesn't know anything yet. He's mostly been in and out of it for a few days now. Wait, wait, doesn't know what, Doc? Well, he suffered some heavy trauma to his thoracic nerves, mostly lower. That's um, part of this spinal cord. Doc, what are you saying? He's paralyzed. He doesn't know. I, I wanted him to find out from someone he trusted. He asks about you most of the time, when he's conscious. get knocked out a bunch while I was gone? No. Who took my place? Paddock for now. <laughs> wow. Paddock. <laughs> Mr. Deathwish. Red. Um, something that we gotta talk about. Is everyone okay? I heard about Friar. But is everyone else okay? Everyone's okay. But, uh... It's you, Joe. What? God. You're going home. You're going home to Irma and Carol. You're gonna be a dad. You're gonna be a great dad. That building. Uh, and it fell on us. Uh, Matt, you're not gonna walk again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look at me. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is going to stop me from finding you when this is all over. You're my best friend, Red. Or any of us. Worth it. <laughs> yes. At least <laughs> you've learned something. How is he? Sam, I can't. Now this looks familiar. It would appear we have much more in common than you'd originally thought. Bulletproof Matt Baker, reduced to tears at the loss of a friend. It's not the same. Well, that's the rub, isn't it? It is the same. You stand, knees buckling under the weight of your own guilt. You are history repeating itself. I'm still alive. That's more than I can say for you. Are you? There's not much to say about me, Matthew. I was weak and frail and was crushed by a secret you told me to keep. I was protecting you. Is this the same protection you offered Frankie? He trusted in you, Matthew. Much as the others did. But they aren't here either. Exactly how much is your protection worth? Stop. Please. This is not your stop. There's more road ahead. Tell me, Matthew. You've made it through hell. How do you feel about snow? I can handle snow. Where are you going with that bloody gun? I'm surprised a higher power didn't already give you an answer. Well, I think you should slow down. Can't, people to see. All right, everyone, fall in on me. Let's move it. Man, it's been ten days, and there's not a man among us who didn't give everything he had. Some gave more. We lost Frankie, Friar, and Marsh, and Red. The collapse broke part of his back, and paralyzed him. He won't ever walk again. He can talk. And you know what he said? He asked me if any of us were worth it. We 
We've all made mistakes. We've all questioned what we're doing here. And we all feel burdened by the cost of the fight, especially in the face of defeat. But I'm not retreating. I'm standing alongside of all of you. I'm still standing right here. I'll walk us straight into Berlin if it's asked of us, and it probably will be. And I know some of you don't trust me right now. Some of you are clinging to superstition. That ends right now. I know we feel like we need something to blame, but it's just a goddamn gun. So here we are. Brothers, fathers, saints, and sinners. Let's bring this fight back to the Germans. Well, shit. <clears throat> if you're gonna use all them pretty words... I can't. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain? Or his heart? <laughs>